Perticus will destroy Metroplex. Wherever he is, wherever he is, it's oversized. Fortress Maximus, I still gonna beat him. You will have time to destroy Metroplex, Perticus. You get days and even weeks to do and What are you doing? Uh... Brutus cannot get hold of you. At least I can fly. Instead of turning to a small gun, turn to get turned to a gun. But in a way, you need to just stare. Go face revelation instead. He's got two di different forms than you. Protocols destroys my revelation! Since so when the records start having a combiner? Just now. I am Optimus Prime from Fall of Cybertron, and you are watching a Fall of Cybertron War for Cybertron review from Spyrus Prime, who has never played War for Cybertron for a little while. I mean, War for Cybertron, but hey, he's still kicking some butt in the review. Hello, this is my friend bringing you a video review of the trans on Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Blast Off. At last, we can finish out this Bruticus review thing. Anyway, he's a nice space shuttle thing. Pretty nice, but anyway. And he has guns, but anyway. So, yeah. Guns. Yeah. Recoup. Yeah. Picture time. Yeah, I didn't tell you anything, but <clears throat> yeah, pretty much for a criticized comparison in vehicle mode. So here is next to Starscream. Yeah, but anyway, on to the transformation. First up, remove the guns. Then we are open up the hands. The Legs of the the tab in for anyways ugly but anyway tab then you weave, rotate rotate the things around give them more of a this is basically that open up the compartments grab hold the arms. Force the tab. That's not supposed to happen. Anyway, and last but certainly not least, open up the jet port and close them. Throw them out. Throw them out. And here we. Oh, yeah, repeat these. I got them wrong, apparently. And yes, and here is Blast Off in chat mode, in robot mode. And now we can look at the quick look on Blast Off.
Here he is in rubber mode, and you can see he is pretty nicely detailed and all that. Really detailed. Very nice detailed, like the upgrades of the Zepicon Simulator and all that. But anyway, pretty nice. For activation on this guy. Head can rotate 360 degrees. Go for kind of symbol or to buy the magic backpack cannot rotate, but it can rotate there for some odd reason. Arms only go forward and bend and rotate that. No race articulation, legs go forward, they go back, they do the perceptor kick, and he can rotate and bend, and that's pretty much it. And why he has holding guns, we don't know. But anyway, here he is next to his Conrads. Swindle. Brawl. Voltex. And there the year onslaught and some random guy named Starscream. Yep. He is a little bit slightly not as taller than Swindle, but not as nearly he's Onslaught towers him, which is true. Him and Voltex, but Brawl, same thing with Brawl, but yeah. Anyway, like I did with my, did with both Brawls and, both Brawls and Onslaught's review, I done the Bruticus combination, so I can, I will be quickly turn them into limb modes, and I show you how to transform Folk text, I mean, no folk text. Onslaught, oh no, onslaught. Blast up to his limo. So, I will be back in the flash. Get a flash. Uh, never mind. Okay, to transform him in to his limb mode, it's pretty simple. First things first, remove these these guns, so you can actually, believe it or not, can combine with this guns. The tab into his windows holsters pretty nicely. That's only as close pegs, but that's okay. And the, you can connect it to Spoke Texas blade, and you got the whole. There. Now we can go to his combined mode. First things first, it's like reversing back to his. basically back to vehicle mode, so. But instead, we're not. We're the legs stay in their subplot position. So we we'll have them out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much that. For the legs, you open them and you Rip up a little hand. And there's another hand. And you pick, you can pick whatever thumb. I know you cannot see it, so. Do you see what thumb? Size thumb. Since we have 
the left hand, so right hand, so so you it you can tap them somehow. Oh, then you close them back, rotate them. Is it like this? I tr Yeah. Yeah. There's a hook and Basically, you squeeze them, I think. Yeah, there. Oh, so you can put that there. And every zoom, zoom, zoom back. Sorry, sorry. We have a lighting accident, so yeah. Not oh, there we go. The life is safe, but anyway. Then we will. There, and now we have a completed arm assembly of Bruticus. And he has limbs! But anyway, and now he will devastate it, everything. Oh, it's devastated. <laughs> That's another combiner. That's another gun. So, we'll put the gun right there. And yes, and here is the completed Bruticist. And as you can see, he is pretty nicely sculpted and obvious. For Sykes and Baron, and here is Starscream and Grimlock. Yeah, the. You know what? Let's turn off the light. Because this guy is designed to do this, but he is so cool. But anyway, for activation, head can rotate 360 degrees. Fair. Arms can rotate 360 degrees. Arms can rotate around trees. They rotate in the thing, and they this arm he bends, which is nice. This arm also has that rotation, bends. Got a crazy bending degree. He has race articulation from onslaught. Legs are also the same, but legs bend, and I believe he has a rotation. Yep, they do. He did have a rotation cap, so yeah. But many people don't like this version. They did their own crazy fan modes, and pretty much the are standalone Bruticus D. I quite like it. Actually, I'm really glad this is the 2012's Toy of the Year award, which is pretty cool. But anyway, this is Sparse Prime, Sing a Tail of Ten, and oh, I forgot about those final thoughts. Okay.
Now we are going to look at pictures. As great as he is, Bruticus with Blast Off is pretty nice screen. And the combiner mode is pretty nice. So yeah. Since he is basically all the constructions of a brutal maniac. But anyway, since green. This deals with three different, two different retailers and two different internet quotation, internet shopping sites. He is pretty nice LinkedIn and he looks good on Star Screen because many people somehow put him with reviews with Star Screen because they know before Cybertron, they know it. Let's be clear. Let's be clear because Shockwave made them according to to the according to Exodus Shockwave made the Kabatacons and and the creation of Bruticus, who is also layered to create Devastator. And the Autobots somehow get created. Created? The Premium. Create? Not the Premium. Defense Door! Out of the Protectobots. So, yeah. Star Screen's Big A beat in all of In reality, it's truly Shockwave's Brigade. Yeah. Brush Burn, sing it, tell it in. The final race of Bruticus and Blast Off. Now we have speed. Blast Off is Romo is 9.10 and Romo 8.8 over 8 is awesome because of his both vehicles. His Romo mode is kind of great and his jet mode or space shuttle mode is pretty great. His combined to R mode, some people may hate it. But some people might like it. Bruticus is all tan. Even the Kabatagon is over a is superior. But don't you mind that Bruticus is the only combiner from Four Cybertron. So you may think you may get this guy for your fan of Bruticus, or you may not. But oh well. But thanks for subscribing. Please sub, comment, and thumbs up, or you can hate it, thumbs down. Also, check out for my uh, Twitter account at Spider's Prime 2, my DVR page, Grimlock Megatron, my screenboard page called Spider's Prime, and check out my blog, also known as Transformer. And also, thank you to watch this video, so have fun, and this is Spider's Prime, see you guys, tail 10. And peace. Out.